Welcome. Today our meditation comes from Psalms 50, a psalm a day. And our theme is wicked religious people. I am the minister of the Hogad Amy Zion Church, which is located in Jackson, in St. Michael, in the island of Barbados. Thank you so much for joining with us today. Many times as we read the Word of God, the Word of God deals with topics and titles and subjects that may be a bit uncomfortable to many of us. But as a preacher, I'm called to preach the whole counsel of God. And in this meditation today, I want to deal with a subject called wicked religious people. I am not here to judge anyone. God is the judge. But God does require that his truth be told. And as one of our famous song uh, writers said, who the hat fit, let them wear it. Psalms 50 is our focus today. And in this psalm, it tells us uh, in the seventh verse listen my people and i will speak i will testify against the israel i am god your god in this psalm god is calling for a trial he has decided to call forth his people those who carry his name and he says, I'm bringing as two of my witnesses, heaven and earth. And in the 14th verse of this 50th Psalm, it says, Let the giving of thanks be your sacrifice to God and give the Almighty all that you promise. Call to me when trouble comes, I will save you and you will praise me. But God said to the wicked, Why should you recite my commandments? Why should you talk? about my covenant. As I said, there are times when God calls us to give account. God calls the highest court in creation with witnesses as the heavens and the earth. And God brings up issues related to wicked religious people. He takes them to court. In this chapter, and um, summarizing using my own words he says the evidence is irrefutable you cannot bribe this judge you cannot corrupt this official to lose the papers or postpone this case indefinitely you cannot steal the evidence or bankrupt the poor accuser for god is a righteous judge he says i know what i'm talking about because i am your god you are a friend with every thief in town. You are a promise breaker. You claim to be righteous and you're immoral. You speak evil and you're quick to tell lies. You recite the commandments and break them at the first drop of a hat. You talk about our special relationship, a covenant relationship, but you don't relate to me in truth. You falsely accuse your own family. You call them brother and sister and don't care what you say about them. You worship me and at the same time ignore my words. You totally misunderstand and misrepresent me. And you corrupt religious service. Wow, that's quite a mouthful. But to be honest... We all know that there are those who would be in our congregations, in churches, uh, whether formal or informal, who do not live up to the standards or the truth of God's word. And so we all have to bow our knee and bow our heads and confess our sins to God. And God realizes this and has made provision for us to confess our sins. But one of the things that is being communicated to us here is that 
we have a misunderstanding of religious service. Attendance at church and mass is not for is for us, not for God. God is God, but it is us who are in need of worshiping and serving God. God is not needing our offerings. And so he says, the um, cattle on the hills are mine. Okay, I'm not in need of riches or wealth. And so when we come to church, when we come to mass, when we go to temple or mosque and we give of our offerings, it is not to buy off God. We give so that God would be honored in our giving and God, who is the provider of all that we receive, he is the one who needs to be given thanks. So. We, we need to be careful that in the giving of our offerings, that must be a part or an indication of our heart's devotion to God. Not to be seen by others, not to impress people about our piety or our piousness or our spirituality. So let's come to our blessings. Let us come to our blessings in terms of how we serve God. Let us not be religious, wicked people, or wicked religious people. Let us serve God in spirit and in truth. Let's pray. Father, help us, O oh God, as we look at this text, that you will lead us and guide us. We pray, O oh God, that our heart's condition would be the most important thing. Help us first to deal with our heart before we deal with our wallet. Help us first, oh God, to deal with our heart before we deal with any other sacrifices that we may make in the house of God. We thank you, O oh God, for your mercy and your love. Amen. May God bless you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and pass on our links to your family and friends as we worship and meditate around the Psalms. God bless you richly.